In today's video, I am going to be talking about my hair. I'm going to be sharing with you my hair care routine, which products I use in my hair, and just how I maintain healthy, fresh looking hair. Also, a lot of you have been asking me to tell you about my experience with going blonde because as you can see, my natural hair color is a bit darker than this hair color. So obviously I have been dyeing or highlighting my hair and let me just start out by saying that I haven't done it myself. I would never ever do that. I would be way too terrified to get like purple, green hair or hair falling off and stuff like that. So instead my hairdresser is the one dyeing my hair or actually I'm not getting my hair dyed. I'm getting highlights in my hair. I just have very tight highlights. As you can see I've got a lot of different colors in my hair and that is due to me highlighting my hair instead of dyeing it. So my biggest and best advice for you guys who may be brunette and you want to try to go blonde or just blonder with your hair, definitely make sure that your hair is in a good condition. And definitely make sure that you talk to a hair specialist. I talked to my hairdresser about how to do with my hair and so on and he advised me all of the way and he's been so careful with my hair. He's been amazing, he's helped me all the way through it and has given me amazing hair care products that I use literally every single day to make sure that my hair is nicely nourished and that it looks good and feels fresh and healthy and not dry at all. So please don't do it at home, go seek professional help. So that was just a little introduction on how to go from brunette to blonde um, and I don't want to go too much further into detail about that because it is very individual depending on which kind of hair color you want and so on and as I said go ask a hair specialist about it instead of you know like your mom or your, or your dad or your friends or whatever because they don't know anything about it. Go to a hairdresser who knows what they're talking about. Um, but now I want to get into more of those hair care products that I use in my hair every single day or whenever I shower. So um, let me just start with shampoo and conditioners. The shampoo and conditioner that I use religiously because I will not use anything else in my hair now is from Shumura and it is the Moshe Velvet Shampoo and Conditioner. These are very expensive but there's a reason for it. They are so nourishing to your hair. These are especially made to give loads of moisture back into your hair so it looks fresh and healthy and feels nice and soft and so on. And the good thing about these is that obviously it gives a lot of moisture to your hair but it doesn't wear your hair down. As you can see my hair is still really like flowy and healthy looking because it doesn't wear my hair down at all and you only need to use like the tiniest amount of product in your hair and seriously it is just incredible. I personally only wash my hair every 3-4 days so um, but these make sure that all through those days that I don't wash my hair my hair is still nicely nourished and I just love these. I can't live without them. So I would say if you're dyeing your hair or if you've got really dry hair or frizzy hair Try out these because these will definitely help you so, so, so much. They will bring life back into your hair in no time. As I said, I wash my hair every three, four days. It just depends on how greasy my hair looks. One day in the week, it is most of the time, like Saturday, Sunday, something like that, I use a good hair mask. And your hair just sometimes just need that extra oomph of moisture. And the one that I use is the one that goes with the, my shampoo and conditioner. This is also from Shumura. This is the Moshe Velvet Nourishing Treatment for Dry Hair. This is the best hair mask I've ever tried in my entire life. I only use like a little amount of it and I just spread it out, especially focusing it in my ends and damn, it is effective. It is so effective. Um, I let it sit in my hair for about five minutes or something like that when I just, you know, like shave my legs or wash my body or whatever, you know, whatever you do in the shower. And um, once I rinse it out, my hair feels so soft. It just makes the world of a difference. I only use it once a week because it can't be too, like, nourishing and I don't want my hair to go too, like, whoo. <laughs> But um, it really works wonders once a week and also it is an expensive little guy. Once again, Shumura hair care products are really expensive but worth the money if you ask me. Um, so I only use a little amount and I've had this for like four months now and I've still got a lot left as you can see. So I only use a tiny amount and it works wonders. A special treatment to those of you who wants to go from brunette to blonde, I just want to mention it quickly. It is not something that I use all the time at all. It may be like once a month or something like that. When I start to see that my hair is growing out, 
I like to use this one. It is the Shiomura Color Luster Shades uh, Reviving Balm. And this is for golden blonde. When I went to my hairdresser to get like highlights in my hair, I specifically wanted them to be like golden and warm and not cold because I don't want white looking hair at all. I want it to look very natural and very, yeah, just natural actually. I know it doesn't look natural because of this, but still, if I was like only having it like this, you wouldn't really be able to tell that I was like getting highlights in my hair because it looks very natural. At least that's what I think. Um, so I went for the golden blonde version of blonde. This is kind of like a little hair dyeing treatment that you can use when you feel like you, that you need to. So what I do is that I use it in my towel dried hair and I just use it as I said in my scalp area and then I let it sit for some minutes and then I just rinse it out again. And I, to me it just makes it look a bit more even in its um, tones. It doesn't go totally blonde. It just makes it look a bit blonder up here, which I like. I really like how it works. As you can see, it doesn't even look like that I've been using it because I don't really use it much at the time and I use it very rarely. But I just wanted to mention it because it is a really nice little uh, colored treatment at home. But still, get your hair dyed or highlighted at your hairdresser. So the first thing that I do once I get out of the shower and when I've just like towel dried my hair, I use a hair oil in my hair. The one that I use, once again religiously, I don't use any other hair oils, is my um, Shiomura uh, Essence Absolute Nourishing Protective Oil. This is with Camellia Oil and it is the best hair oil I've ever tried. I've gone through one bottle of this now and honestly I soak my hair in it. I seriously use so so much. I use two pumps in the mornings, one during the day if I just feel like it and then two to three in the evening. And the great thing about this oil is that it's so light in texture, as you can see it's really fluidy, so it doesn't wear your hair down and it doesn't make your hair look greasy. It just brings back moisture into your hair and it's amazing for that purpose. And also if you've got a tiny bit of like split ends, put it this in the ends and they don't look split anymore and it will just restore your hair as well. So if you've got thin hair, thick hair, doesn't matter. It is the best and it is for all hair types so it doesn't matter, just go get it. It is expensive once again but it works wonders. One more thing about this amazing oil is that it's also heat protecting so once you put it in your hair it will actually also protect it from you know when you blow dry it or straighten it so it's a really good oil. Even though the hair oil has got some heat protecting benefits in it, I still like to use a heat protecting spray or cream in my hair. The one that I use is from Kirstas and this is the um, Cement Thermique um, for heat activating constructing milk and this is for brittle damaged hair. And this has been launched in a new packaging lately so it doesn't look like this anymore but it's still an amazing product. As I said it's for damaged or dry hair. I am damaging my hair every time I get highlights in it so obviously I want to protect my hair. So I like to use this one and this is so light in texture, it is kind of like a milk as it says and I just use it mostly in my ends but also a tiny bit of hair and I just spread it out with my fingers and then I just brush through my hair with a nice brush just to distribute all of it into my hair. And once again, it doesn't wear my hair down, it doesn't feel greasy or anything like that. I only use like a pea-sized amount and then I just spread it out into my hands and then into my hair. And alternative to the Kerstas Milk, there's also the Moroccan Oil Heat Styling Protection Spray. And I like this one because it comes in the spray, it's a bit easier sometimes just to spray it on if you don't want to get your hands all soaked in the milk. Thing. Um, so this is easy and quick if you ask me. The thing about this one is that it doesn't wear my hair down, which I'm so happy about. Um, but I don't feel like that I get it distributed all over my hair as nicely as if I use the milk. But I still like this product very, very much and you get a huge um, bottle, so you get a lot for the money. Now for some styling products that I like to use in my hair. Um, the first one I want to talk about is the Shiomura Liquid Fat Breaking Mineral Texture Spray. This is a texturizing spray that I use. I use like six pumps in my hair, two up here, two in the middle and two in the end. And then I just distribute it with my finger just teasing it through my hair. And I like this because it gives a bit of a hold and a bit of a texture to your hair. And if you want that kind of like beachy look to your hair, this is really, really good. Don't use too much of it because it can be a bit too texturizing and then go crispy in your hair and you don't want that. But just those six sprays if you've got like the same length as me 
works wonders and I really like this product. And the other hair styling product is also from Shumura. I know I'm a freak. It's like the only thing that I use. The one that I like to use is the Shumura Fiber Lift Protective Voluminizer. And this is so, so good. It comes out like a gel-ish texture. And what I do with it is that I use, once again, only a pea-sized amount of it. Just massage it into my hands and my palms and then I use it. Whoops, I was just about to drop the product. <laughs> um, and then I use it up here in my scalp area just to create some volume and I don't know if I mentioned that but I use all of these products in my towel dried hair so I haven't used any heat styling or any stylers okay so this is before you actually blow dry your hair but as I said it creates some volume and also a bit of a texture to your hair and it also makes your hair look a bit smoother now once I've used those products in my hair the thing that I do is that I blow dry my hair I just have an old blow dryer and I need to get a new one the one that I've got is from Remington and I got it when I was like 14 or something like that it's so old but still going strong um, and then afterwards, um, I like to use dry shampoos. This is from Sebastian and this is called Dynamic Instant Style Refreshing Spray. And you can use it both to create some texture in your hair and some volume. And you can also use it on your second day or third day hair just to make it look a bit more like fresh. Um, that is obviously what dry shampoos are made for, to make your hair look fresh and not greasy. It just soaks up the grease and the oil from your scalp so it looks much more as if you just washed your hair. I like this one from Sebastian because it does give a bit of a hold and texture to your hair as well as making it look fresh and new and um, I really like this one. And the other one that I really like and swear to because it's really cheap as well is the Batiste Dry Shampoo. I love this one with the Fruity and Cheeky Cherry scent. It's like my favorite scent that I tried so far and it is good because it is really inexpensive and it works wonders. It doesn't really create that white like residue in your hair either. There's also the dry shampoo from Lundberger Stuff Sing, but I've used that one up so I can't really show you that one, but I love that one as well. Oh my gosh, I've talked so 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 much, but that is honestly what I do to keep my hair healthy and beautiful. And I've basically been using those products that I've shown you except for the um, this one, the Shumura Color Lester Balm. But else, I've been using almost all of the other products in my hair, and as you can see, my hair looks amazing. At least that's how I feel. My, my hair feels really soft and healthy, and that's how I want my hair. And if I look at my ends, I mean, it has been a while since I got my hair cut the last time because I'm trying to grow out my hair, but they don't look split at all. I need to get my hair cut, but they are not damaged. So, Shiomura, thank you for amazing hair care products. Even though I blow dry my hair, I straighten my hair, I use highlights in my hair, my hair still feels and looks so healthy. And I think that was all for my hair care video. It was obviously just all about my hair at the moment. My hair is growing so 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 quickly, I don't know if you can see it, but my hair has grown so much recently. That just tells me that I'm eating well and that all of my products, they work wonders in my hair. I hope that this video could help you guys if you're looking for some new hair care products that are amazing quality. And also if you're trying to go from brunette to blonde, take my advice, ask your hairdresser and go for these products because they will help you a lot. If you've got any questions that I haven't really talked about in this video, please leave them down below and I'll try to answer them as quick as possible. And else, if you found the video interesting and helpful in any way, please give it a thumbs up. That would help me out so, so much. And also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And until next time, have a really great day and take good care of your hair. Bye! You can definitely build it up from a light to a full coverage. Obviously you can't really see it because it's